Welcome back. Welcome back. Tropical Island, Karn, Sheldock Isle. Mono red? Ugh, this isn't even a mono red pack. Like, we've got burning here. It's the only. Huh. I like Karn. I like Sheldock Isle as well. I think we're going to go Sheldock Isle. Yeah, Sheldock Isle. Was there a Shrine of Burning Rage in there? I don't, I don't know. I don't see red cards. Ponder. Jitte. Artisan, Worm, Ashiok. We don't want to do two back-to-back -to -back Ashiok drafts, right? Ponder's pretty good. We can just take Ponder. I feel like I want to be the artifact deck, but we're not seeing any good artifacts here, so maybe we're not. Okay, Blightsteel Colossus seems pretty good. Not only to just get under a Sheldock Isle, but also to Tinker into play if we get that far. Let's Blightsteel here, and then we're going to try to find a Tinker. That is a good artifact. Ulamog. Smuggler's Copter I don't care about. <sighs> this pack is interesting. I mean, like, the thing is, Bloodstill Colossus is an artifact, and Ulamog is not. So, like, you like this curve? We got a 1 drop and a 12 drop. That's all it takes. Might just be swords. Like we can't we gotta cast this guy. Yeah, I think it is just swords. Oh, I like a control magic. I also like Angel of Sanctions, which might come back. Three cards are coming back. My guess for the three cards is gonna be Ink Eyes, Shardless Agent, Firebolt. Ink Eyes, Shardless, Firebolt is my is my guess. Solemn Simulacrum? Alright. I'm game. That's a good one. Oh, what up, Oral? Oh, I like Stoneforge Mystic here. Yeah, let's Stoneforge Mystic. Council's Judgment? Alright. Now we're talking. Okay, I mean, like, we don't have a cohesive strategy yet with this Blightsteel Colossus, but we do have a pretty decent collection of cards. Control Magic, Council of Judgment, Swords, and Ponder. Scrubland... Phyrexian Revoker. I kind of just like Revoker here. I don't know if I want to scrub land or not. I do like I do like to play 12 lands win. That is a solid... I'm going to take Revoker here. Sphinx of the Steelwind and Path. I like Sphinx here. I think we can still try to tinker. And we already have Swords.
Sphinx of the Steel wins. That's nice. That's solid. Um, there's no specific time I do deck critiques. If someone wants me to do one at a specific time, I try to accommodate that. Um, but otherwise I'll just do it and they'll catch it on YouTube usually. Um, but yeah, there's no like, I don't, I don't do them like, I don't do them like four o'clock every Tuesday or something like that. Usually it's like, depends on what's in the queue, depends on what works for people. And also when the cube is up, I usually postpone them just a little bit because the cube is like my priority in terms of like, um, magic, the gathering streaming preference I'll take shambling vent here maybe we splash a black card okay I think this is gonna pick be the be the pack with the shardless agent the ah, I forgot. oh siege gang and ink eyes I think I was correct on angel of sanctions is the card I want oh and resto okay well Ravages of War. Now we only have two blue cards, which is kind of awkward. Yeah, same with that Fairy's deck looks pretty sweet. I wouldn't have a problem with that. Firebolt was the other. Okay. Uh, we have an Elspeth. We have a Tundra, which seems great here. I feel like I'm kind of priced into taking the Tundra. But then there's also this Urza. But I don't think we're an Urza deck anymore. And I think I'd rather just have the fixing. Urza does something with artifacts. We have two artifacts in our deck. So it's not like... I mean, like, what are we... We're, like, getting Urza to, like... Like, the two artifacts I'm referring to are Phyrexian Roker and Solemn Simulacrum because these don't really care uh, about Urza. I do like a Karn, though. I like a Sea Chrome Coast, too. Karn is like a more reasonable Blightsteel Colossus slash Sphinx of the Steel Wind. Hmm. I think it's actually Karn. I think Seachrome Coast will come back. Oh, Teferi Time Raveler is nice. I don't think Factor Fiction is coming back, but Teferi Time Raveler is pretty bonkers. Karn, Steel Gotham. <laughs> That's these are like Steel Golem. Is Steel Go is his name Steel Golem? It's Silver Golem. Dang it. It's still good. I still I still approve Brett. So let me ask you guys something. In my in in my search for places to live, right? I've been looking away from apartments, but I've seen some apartments that look pretty nice. And the reason I've been looking away is because of Hunter, right? I have a dog. And it's very nice. And not only nice, but it's like it's kind of what I want. To just be able to open the door, let Hunter go do his business, and then come back in with him. You know, he does his thing, he pees, he poops, whatever, and then we go back inside. And I don't have to worry about him running off because there's a fence. You know, it's a fenced-in yard and a house. I rent houses, typically. When I when I, when I I find places to stay, I rent a house. What is my option with, a, with an apartment? Do I just, like, walk him through the complex and then go to the grass and then pick it up and then throw it out and then go back in? Because that's my concern. Like, I've just never done it before, right? So it's like... It's a it's it's a small it's a small lifestyle change, right? But it's something I'm gonna have to do three times a day, right? So it, it adds up. Like that's a thing I have to do three times a day now. Instead of like just going outside in like gym shorts and a t shirt, you know, with like my hair a mess, like I might have to like get a little more presentable if I'm gonna walk a, a kind of a distance. I have to get shoes on, you know. So, I mean, like, it's not a it's not a deal breaker by any means, but it is a, a change, right? It's a significant change because it because it takes place so frequently. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm doing a specific thing three times a day. Yeah, like, renting a house has always been ideal for me because, like, I can just let Hunter out. He can do his business, come back in. That's it. Done. Right? It's a, it's a completely automated process. 
I like Sun Titan. Sun Titan has consistently impressed me in these decks. But I also like Grim Monolith, and I think Grim Monolith with a Karn. I think it's got to be Grim Monolith, unfortunately. Or fortunately, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, man. It depends on... Uh, Arid Mesa seems good when we have uh, Tundra. Ooh, let's take an Arid Mesa. I also like this Grim Monolith art. It makes me... You know what makes me sad, Brett? And maybe you'll agree. Oh my god, literally what you just said. Yes. I was going to say it makes me sad that they, they use all these new arts for cards that will never see reprinted in paper. I'm like, okay, well, this is this would be great on a Grim Monolith, but like it'll never get reprinted because of the reserve list. So the only place you'll ever see this Grim Monolith art is either on Magic Online, we're definitely taking Fractured Identity because this card is bonkers, or like when they print them as like one of the big, huge cards that you can get like a GP. You know what I mean? Like the ones that are like super big. Because they're like, here's a Grim Monolith. Yeah, I have like four models I'd still rather they reprint. I think that's how a lot of people feel. I think a lot of people are like, dude, I have I have a bunch of copies of this card. I don't care if you reprint it because more people can play with it and that's cool. Like you you breathe life into these formats that are basically just like like legendary formats. They're just like vintage, the urban legend format. I don't think we're a winter orb deck unless that Urza comes back. I do like Venser a lot, especially with a Restoration Angel. Oh, Oblivion Ring? I like Oblivion, Oblivion Ring better than Brimaz, I think. Wow, Elspeth came back? Oh, that's phenomenal. Come on, Urza, one time. Oh, the Sea Chrome Coast. That's great. Shut up and take that's my That's some money. solid fixing. Primaris Paras, obligatory rounding donation. Also, happy new year and good luck. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it, dude. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate it. When I play Commander, I have a modern cost basis for my cards, so I try not to play with cards over like 120. Monolith is, Monolith is pushing that now. Oh, Godless Shrine is interesting. Yeah, okay, I'll Godless Shrine. Like, we can get both these Arid Mesa, or we can get it with an Arid Mesa, rather. Yeah, I'll take a Fairgrounds Warden. I can board that in against a show until matchup. Can they somehow get rid of the reserve list? Yes, but it's an extremely high risk. Like, Wizards is... Um, like, they open themselves up to, to the risk of, like, you know, class action lawsuits, losing a lot of um, public trust. No way they do that. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree it's not going to happen. But is it is it possible? Yeah. Yeah, it's possible. Is it likely? No. Is it probable? No. No, no, no. Uh, I think it's actually Mox Diamond here. 17 lands Mox Diamond? I like that. The people who really care are people with money, and people with money have lawyers to make. That's true, yeah. Like me, average Joe, who wants to see the reserve list abolished so I can play vintage casually with people. Um, I don't have... I have a, a, a good amount of magic cards, don't get me wrong. Like, I have a lot of magic cards. But my stuff is mostly focused in, like, pioneer, modern, and standard with some, like, legacy and vintage thrown in. Not a ton, right? But it's still probably a good amount of money. But, like, I don't have... I'm not sitting on, like, 15 lotuses that I would just, like, lose my ass if they were just reprinted, you know? Like... What's the story around why it exists? Can someone actually... Actually, is, is, is it signature better than Mox Diamond here? I kind of want Signet here. I'm going to take Mox Diamond. Mox Diamond's got to be the pick, right? It's so good. It's so good. Marsh Flats is good. Gets us Tundra. Gets us Godless Shrine if we play it. Gets us a swamp if we have one swamp now all of a sudden. And then we have one, two, three, four sources of black. I don't think it's Time Twister. Have you played Disco Elysium? I played like one session of Disco Elysium with Mike. And I didn't really... It was definitely not a streaming game. It was definitely not a game I wanted to stream. Does that make sense? I'm sure it does. Treachery again. Oh, yeah. God, I love treachery. I'm taking treachery. Big treach. Oh, four drop Elspeth. Interesting. 
Spell Pierce and Frantic Search. Frantic Search not great here. I mean, I don't know. Draw two, discard two. It's a it's definitely a book with game elements. Wow, that was a crazy way of putting it, and that makes absolute sense. Holy smokes, that's a great way to put it. I actually like Spell Pierce a lot here. Full, foil full art original dual lands printed at masterpiece volumes would not make dual cheaper. I agree with you. I agree with you completely. But it would put more into circulation, which is awesome. Um, I'm probably not going to upload the Disco Elysium session just because we're not going to finish it. So it's just kind of like a. I like Spell Pierce here. I think that's fine. Oh, I like a Jace. Also, Sword. I think it's probably Sword here because we have Stoneforge Mystic. And otherwise, we're just cutting Stoneforge and we're cutting like Sphinx and we're cutting like Blightsteel. So it's kind of like. It's kind of meh. And then we're like just running out of playables. I guess Mother of Runes is actually playable here though. Yeah. I'm just going to take this. Charter Course, not bad. What does Trinket Mage get here? Just Mox Diamond? Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, we can take Charter Course. Celestial Colonnade and a search for Ezkanto. Why are you both in this pack? I'm going to take Celestial Colonnade. But one game, one game I have been enjoying a lot is... Uh, is Bioshock Infinite. That game has been great so far. Anything good here. Thalia? Yeah, I think we have more artifacts than anything else here. This is 23 cards. I guess we don't really need anything else. Anyone doubts that? Look at Mox Diamond's price and paper reprinted as a foil in front of the Royal like, still 250. Yeah, like, I think it's because people who want to play them competitively, they don't even go for, like, the from the vault versions. Have you watched the Hellblade 2 Senua's Saga trailer? No, I don't even, Chris, I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what you're saying right now. I would just like one more card. I like our deck so far. Is it Moat? Right, Resto, we have Angel Sanctions. I don't think it's, I mean, we're not playing it, but I'll take it. What's the donation incentive to watch it on stream? Name the price. Chris, for you, I can't do that. That's hilarious, though. What is the game? I don't even know what that is. Chris, link me to the link me to the trailer, and I'll just watch it. I'll just watch it on stream. Angel. I like Wrath of God. I like having a Wrath and a Moat in the sideboard. All right, hold on. I'm bring this bad boy up. I don't even know what this game is. Senua's Saga Hellblade 2. I've never heard of... I never heard of Senua's Saga Hellblade 1. Oh, uh, I actually don't hate Angel. But like I said, we have 23 cards. And I'm pretty sure we're just going to play 17 lands and a Mox. Because, <clears throat> like, not only are you discarding a land to get Mox into play, like... Oh, wow. That's actually pretty good. I kind of like that Elspeth. I wonder if there's anything I'm taking out for that Elspeth. Maybe Mother of Runes. The first one was pretty rad. I beat it last year. It was mentally, emotionally attacked. Should I do I need to do I need to know anything about the first one to appreciate this the spoiler for the, the trailer for the second one? Oh, Jace came back. Yeah, even something like printing a legendary version of original duels would be too much. I agree with that, and I also think, like, that's why you can't have dual lands with, like, snow version types, right? Like, Snow Taiga, for example. Because while it's a great way to kind of get around the the reprint policy, the reserve list, um, there's two problems. One is that now all of a sudden decks can play twice as many, right? Like, you can play 
eight taigas, you know, if you really need that. Um, the other problem is that it's a, it's, it's what's known as a functional reprint and you can kind of get a, it's, you're not allowed to even make functional reprints, uh, because of the reserve list. The reserve list, uh, does not allow you to make functional reprints. So. Oh, and that's what Brett said. He said, uh, they can't print anything that is functionally identical. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. That's exactly. Stoneforge does only have one hit, but I, I still think that's fine. I mean, a turn two Stoneforge drawing a card is still very, very good. The thing is, I just don't care about a ton of our creatures uh, enough to... Uh, we can take the Revoker out and play Revoker on the sideboard, I think. We only have five creatures, but we also have... Elspeth, Gideon, Elspeth. So it's like eight creatures. Jeez. Maybe I want this guy. I feel like it's I feel like we can't take out Spell Pierce, it's just too good. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is probably correct. Um because once we get the tundra with the arid and the marsh flats, the other one becomes a, you know, what do you call it? Just the plains. All right, so we need one cut here if we want to add a six seventeenth land. I feel like we have more than six creatures, but I guess we don't. Third tail. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Also, Fractured Identity and Treachery are basically creatures, right? So, like, as far as creatures go... One of the most go, anticipated video games in years. Wow, Conan, you're just going to start auto-playing? What's that about, dude? Dang, that was aggressive, Conan. Also, Control Magic's creature. So, this is actually, like, ten creatures. Eleven. Twelve. Alright, that's actually significantly better. The cards that they're not counting as creatures are all of these so these are our six actual creatures these are our six other why not 41 <sighs> buddy i think you know all 41 all right so one of these is going to be a planes the other is going to be both so we're going to go pile of of lands that produce both here and then everything else is plain so this is actually pretty even it's almost like it's exactly even right now all of these are going to produce both and then well if we draw tundra and then marsh flats and arid mace are both going to produce just white but we do have a lot more white so all right we'll add one more planes and we'll call it a day now we're going to 41 this bad boy um you're welcome and not gonna lie i haven't been on twitch in weeks and i have no idea what i just did what do you mean what you just did other than the resub So the first time we play is Scream Singing Lady Senyu. Okay. Okay. Oh, you said thanks. And then he said, okay, cool. In the first game, Senyu struggles with psychosis. And the game devs took a lot of time researching what people with psychosis experience. So while you're playing the game, your voice is all... Oh, Chris, I think I remember you telling me about this. I think I remember this. Well, that's a good one. Thankfully, we have Phyrexian Revoker, my dudes. Well, it's a choose non land card name, so never mind. I'm a dummy. We don't have Phyrexian Revoker, my dudes. Let's go get our Tundra. Non land? Okay, non land? Okay, we're doing it.
Oh, that's a little tribe elder. I'm gonna play Revoker and be like, "Do you crack it?" I really have no desire to to do anything right now. I'm just gonna pass again, and we're gonna play stupid Elspeth next turn, I guess. Has it been Wednesday all day? I think so. It is Wednesday, my dude. How does one put in stipulation for you? I think it'll be fun. Uh, Zamora, you can either just email me at frank at franklaport.com or you can just... I don't Donate to me here. Whatever you want to do. You name it. If you want to talk about it, make sure it's okay, then we can do that too. Mm, Jesus, Library of Alexandria. How are you a real magic card? All right, well, our deck is not doing it anything right now unfortunately so we make a guy they attack Elspeth I guess we block <sighs> create a little 1-1 one, one, gentlemen Third tale, the end of 2019 could have been better, my dude. Well, we're definitely blocking. I like Revoker here because we can actually just shut down the Jitte. And, like, they can't actually kill it in response or anything like that, so... Ooh. Got him. Got him. We have five cards, huh? So they draw a card for their turn. They can crack the clue. They can draw another card with library. I was thinking on a mana ramp swords deck, like grab all the equipment you can and try to get them out. I, yeah, I, I, I'm okay with that. I'm a fan of swords, more so than I think other other cube drafters are yeah I guess we'll just pass here and we could have named Jitte and then named Clue with the uh, revoker yep that's exactly what they're going to do go to 7 go to 8 alright well they've only drawn 7 more cards than us so if we don't if we don't win it's you know it's, it's basically due to skill not uh, the fact that they drew an entirely extra hand uh, am I still talking to Ollie? Yeah, Ollie's a good friend. And do I know of any of the upcoming... I don't personally know of any of the upcoming lore. You should do a stip where you bring me on down to Rat Train, then you go outside and get the call on the Rat Train. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that is not a real thing, man. Train here. Yeah, we do. We do. Send them on down to Rat Train. Thank you. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the Rat Train? <laughs> Oh, man. Chain's Addiction. That's a great name. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. I was passing you packs one and three, ended up mono red. Nice. Yeah, usually mono red's like, well, nobody else is here. Shut up and take my money. Third Tail, sorry to hear that. I hope 2020 starts off a lot better. 2020, you are awesome, dude. That's hilarious. Third Tail, thank you so much, man. Moving on down to Rat Train. Let's get rid of this guy. Make this guy. Going on down to rat train. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, basically, I have to... Uh, I'm, I'm forced to move within the next, like, 30 days. 
because uh, our rental company sold the house that we're renting without because they forgot that we had a uh, 18 month lease instead of a 12 month lease. So our lease was supposed to be up in July, and instead they're like, "Oops, we sold the house because we forgot." So you're gonna have to move in January. So we've been looking for a place to live. So that's cool. So yeah, now I have to like find a new place, put a new first month deposit, security deposit. Pack up all my shit, rent a U-Haul, get water, cable, internet, electricity turned on. Not cable, I don't have cable, but... So, Brett, the thing is, I had a signed lease, and they were like... I was like, hey, I, I've told this story before, so if you guys on, on YouTube or whatever have heard it, I apologize. Um, but... The lease was for they. We were like, "Hey, can they wanted to raise our, our rent to fifth to sixteen hundred, and we were like, "Hey, can you do fifteen fifty? Because we're, we're more comfortable with that." And they were like, "Well, we can do fifteen fifty if you sign an eighteen month lease." And we were like, "Okay, deal." So they send us a twelve month lease, and I don't think much of it at the time because I'm like, "That's fine. They'll you know we just agreed to this, so you know it'll be interesting." Going on down the rat train. Sure. I mean, I just don't want to turn this Jitte on, really. Um, Yeah, and so we're just like, okay, cool, no big deal. So, you know, when the 12-month lease is up, either they'll give us a six-month lease or, you know, we'll go month to month or whatever. Because we just literally have, I literally have an email conversation where they say, we can offer you this at 18 months. And we say, deal. So that seemed obvious to me but then like i guess because they only had the 12 month on file they forgot and uh you know that's cool so yeah they were like oops we accidentally sold your house Yeah, they screwed up, but because we don't have an 18-month signed contract, it doesn't matter. Like, all we have is the in writing where they agreed to the 18-month lease. And they offered it to us, and we were like, okay. Going on down the rent train. Let's attack Vivian. Um, let's plus on you. I feel like this is getting countered for sure. It did not. <clears throat> okay, they're going to play a creature, I guess. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's a good one. That is a good one. Uh, there's fiber in some places. I've never actually lived in a place that had fiber, though. So, Well, I think they're going to take out multiple planeswalkers here. Yep. It's weird because they basically got me to sign the contract by agreeing to 18 months. So it's weird that they, like, don't have to honor the 18 months. But also, like, what can I do? Like, they sold the house, you know? I don't know. All right, so you're all you're all coming at Elspeth. Y'all got to go at Gideon. I don't know what. None, none, none of what you're doing right now. Gideon. 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 Karn. Sure. Well, I guess Karn is taking his lumps here.
going on down the rat train. She's this guy. I'm gonna jump this guy because if you have a card in hand, I don't really feel like dealing with it. We can just kill Gideon here too, but then they get to draw an extra creature with this guy. And I'm not really actually that scared of Gideon because we have swords in hand, so. I actually have no idea how we're ahead right now. Um. So we can actually just kill this guy, put Gideon to one, and they have, like, no creatures on board? They have two cards and a Gideon? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Um... Cable companies love bundling. I don't know how we're so far ahead when they had they've drawn seven extra cards off of library. Okay, well, whatever this is, is probably going to be pretty good. Marari's Wake. No. Unexpectedly absent on the Elspeth. Sure. For how many? Beneath the top four. Yeah, we'll just draw a card. train Yeah, I don't watch TV on an actual television. Well, I watched I watch like YouTube and and Twitch and Netflix on an actual television. But like I never watch like cable. I'm never like, "Oh, let me turn on TNT." Yeah, this revoker on the Jitte has been like just phenomenal. I'm going to each draw cuz we just get Elspeth. Oh, we get control magic. Interesting. I could have sworn it was going to be Elspeth. Oh, it's beneath the top four, so it'd be the fifth card. Yeah, it makes sense. Going on down a rat train. Michael was sold at the house. Yeah, it's, it's too bad. What is this going to do? What are you doing here? Uh, you're gonna exile it. Yeah, okay. So, what happens if I... If I counter... The, if I, if I venture the unexpectedly, whatever they cast, does that go back to their hand? Because it's flashback, or does it get exiled forever? Because I, I know, like, if you, like, remand, like, a Lingering Souls from the graveyard, it gets exiled forever. I'm going to trust you, Brett. I believe in you. Oh, it worked. I feel like we're okay. We have a Jace. We have a Blocker and a Gideon and a Control Magic. And we're drawing 
Fingers crossed we're drawing an Elspeth. Alright, don't care about that. Look at double mox Live of Alexandria deck. Seems good. Okay. This is a lot of mana that you're tapping. What's it gonna be? <laughs> Mystic Confluence. Return, return, draw a card. Um, yeah, alright, you got it. Two, three, four. Wow, this is all very, very good. I kind of want to bounce the Snapcaster because that way they can't actually attack here. So let's do that. Sure. I mean, it sucks that they get their Snapcaster back, especially with Mystic Confluence, but we can't. We get to keep our Gideon, and that's pretty relevant. Like they can't bounce any of our Planeswalkers. I mean, we could have bounced Teferi, and then they get to... But then they still get to attack one of our Planeswalkers, and that's more important. Sure. What? What? <laughs> that would have cost more to untap. Kodama's reach. Sure. So you're tapped out. We know you have Snap in hand. Snap. They... Revealed two planes. One of them went into play. All right. Well. Elspeth, perhaps? Oh, my God. We can deal nine here. That's crazy. Let's draw a card. Chart a course. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're just going to kill Teferi here. Oh, I like an Oblivion Ring. It doesn't do much here, though. Um, Revoker. Yeah, this is still game one. Jete, one, two, three, four. Elspeth, forget a one, one. Land, Grim Monolith. Okay, back. <laughs> so they can go Confluence, Snapcaster, Confluence, Bounce the Revoker. Activate Jitte, kill this guy. I have no idea. Wrath of God. Sure. So we know you have. Do you play the planes? You played the planes. Okay, so we know you have Snapcaster in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, so now you have. Oh, now you can't snap. That's interesting. 
Let's actually crack this. Yep. Um, so what, what do you have? One, two, three, four, five. So you can go Snapcaster Wrath of God next turn, which is pretty stupid. Hmm. That doesn't do anything, though. Like, we just killed him with Gideon and Elspeth, right? Like, we know their hand is Snapcaster. So it doesn't do anything. <laughs> like Mystic Confluence can't deal with Planeswalkers. And Wrath of God can't kill Planeswalkers. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Two, three, four, five... Um, one, two, three. It's Oblivion Ring. Let's get rid of your Jitte. See if you want to use those counters to gain some life. Yep. They killed their own Kitchen Finks. We should have done this first, I guess. All right, put you to five, and you have a Snapcaster. They could bounce their Kitchen Finks and replay it, but I don't think that does anything. Oh, they can do it now. I see. Oh, wow. Wow. Um... Interesting. I mean, this is lethal, so you gotta you gotta snap it now. Snap it if you got it. And they did have it. Um, I'm actually thinking of Fractured Identity the Snapcaster when it comes down, and then we can either, uh, we can chart a course. Draw some cards, get a, an extra body on the board. Yep. Boy, this match is grueling. Um, oh, do we fracture identity again? Oh, they just conceded. <laughs> Okie dokie. What would we have drawn? Arresto. Yep. All right. Well, that was pretty cool. That was, that was sure something. Oh, we just win the match. All right. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, that's the thing, I guess. <laughs> just, oh, I love it. Stop! He's already dead. Man, that match wasn't went a lot quicker after we uh just won it. They did. They just noped the F out of there, man. They're like, nah, I'm good. Uh, they had 12 minutes, we had 14 minutes, so we weren't super ahead.
but also like yeah that match was kind of grueling I'm gonna keep this hand yeah they they, they, they drew like a thousand cards more than us that's hilarious like if you if you draw an extra seven cards with your library of Alexandria and you still lose like your deck might be lacking something I had Gideon Jura, so I was good to go. You ready? You guys ready for us to top deck uh, Stoneforge Mystic? Okay. Oh man, I hope they don't play anything, and I hope we just get to Windmill Slam of Jace, and they're like, "Oh dang it, I didn't draw anything." Uh, they had like eight cards in their deck. Oh wow! Don't have, don't have tithe. Don't have tithe. Don't have tithe. The only reason they're gonna have tithe. It's the only reason you don't play this first. Like they're just gonna get us. It's fine. Oh, they didn't get us. <gasps> wow. Oh wow. Feels good. Yeah. The only reason you don't leave with Neil Spires is because you want to tithe them. Oh, all right. Here comes Hero of Blade Hold. Solemn Simulacrum. I want a Fracture Identity of that guy. I want to hit a land here so I can Oblivion Ring Spell Pierce that guy. Give me another one. Give me another card. It better be a land. We're playing 18... Th oh, you stupid land. You stupid idiot land. Whatever, we're just O-ringing and we're going to O-ring in the new year. And if they want to use their turn to Needle Spires our Jace, that's fine. Yes, yes. Oh yeah, they are just going after Jace. Man, I've already drawn two cards and that's like your whole turn. Get out of town. I kind of just want to venture this. I kind of also want to hit a land though. Let's try to hit a land first. Um, that's sad. So we get to hit a land, but we got to get rid of everything else. I think that's actually okay though, right? Actually, let's just go... <laughs> we can revoke their mocks. It's true. Let's just go this, this, and this. No shuffle. Play the land. And then we'll just pass here. If they play something expensive, instead of attacking, we can just bounce that. And if it's like real good, we can just spell pierce it. So I'm okay with all the things. Oh, did they play a land? Oh, they already played a land this turn, too. Oh, my biscuits. Maybe you just take it? No, I don't think so. This is a Fencer turn. Boy, 
And now our Tefri is much safer because, well, they don't have anything. That's why. But let's be real. We're probably just going to sword. And then suit up the sword, my dude. We're not suiting up the sword because that would mean like, oh, wow, they're playing a three color deck and we have protection from two of those colors. That's pretty good. Man. Whew. The value train is pulling into the station, my dudes. Yeah, what if you suit up Venser with a sword, and then you suit up the sword of the Tux? That's crazy. It's Venser holding a sword, and the sword has a Tux on it? That's that's something right there. That's like... That's just perfect. Elspeth. Uh, that's fine. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. And then we're going to give... We're going to give Venser float. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four, five, fractured Elspeth. Oh boy. Give this dude float. Float on over. <laughs> well, you know, it's two turn clock, so I might as well kill the only creature you have on board. Rum Titan, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. You know, Rum Titan is my favorite of the Titan cycle. So, oh wow, oh Jesus, look at this hit. Six mana Elspeth, Council's Judgment, Treachery, or Solemn Simulacrum. Let's go with the big Elspeth, I guess. Jeez, what? Jeez. Even if they attack with Needle Spires, like that's their whole turn. Elspeth goes to one. I'm gonna spell pierce this. I usually, Brett, I usually get four lands with my hideaways. Don't get confused. Don't get it twisted, buddy. I think you know I think you're I think you're well aware that my my hideaways are not often not the greatest. Alright, well, we won the game. We had good luck. I am curious what they would have gotten with their mystical tutor. <laughs> hey, maybe they'll concede the match too. Do we bring in Field of Ruin since we saw Needle Spires? Hmm, fascinating. I do worry about our commitments. Like, we have double, 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 double. <laughs> this is one, two, three, Thank four, you. five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine out of 16 cards. This is nine out of 18 cards, actually. So that's half of our cards have double in the casting cost. Oh, Kim Possible 420 dropping off that prime as a YouTube view. I appreciate that. You guys are great. Thank you so much. If you guys take the time to come over from YouTube and give me them Twitch Prime subs or regular subs, there is a special place in heaven for you, you goddamn saints.
Well, that was weird. I don't even know what I hit to do that. It was probably a crazy mouse button. They chose not to shuffle. All right, so. Oh, I see. This is how we're gonna be? All right, well, no, nothing to, no way to exploit this yet. Let's get a Tundra. I will also get a Tundra, my friend. Ooh, Grim Monolith. What do you do? Do we revoke her here, or do we Grim Monolith? I think we revoke her this stupid Sol Ring, right? Soul ring, more like dull ring, am I right? I wonder, oh, I wonder how reliant they were on that soul ring. <laughs> Do they not have a third land? They're like, I'll keep it because then I can play my Elspeth on turn three. And I'm like, no, don't do that. And they're like, oh, okay, I gotta land then. And I'm like, oh, dang. Yes, Revoker doesn't care about mana abilities. <laughs> Brett, this is what I'm talking about, dude. <laughs> well, on the bright side, we did get a Mox Diamond. Oh. Yep, there you go. There you go. All right, so let's keep an eye on this guy. It is the eye in the sky. Suspending with you. I can change your mind. Wow, that was rude, but I guess I I guess I deserved that. I guess I had it coming. All right, well. Choose three lands I control. One, two, three. Okay, done. Choose four cards in hand. One, two, three, four. Done. Sacrifice all the creatures you can channel. It's actually a decent. It's a pretty. That's a pretty decent one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What can I do? I convince her you guy. Oh, 
I'm just going to mentor this dude. I don't even know if you have a second blue. Got him. Mao. They did not have a second blue. Man, this is a solid balance. Oh, I'm going to steal that. One way or another. So I got two cards in hand. Okie dokie. So it's going to go to two. We get to attack for six. This is going to go to one. We get to attack for six. This is going to go to zero. They're going to bounce their own Phoenix. That's fine. It's all fine. Golos. Do you know the Lady Antebellum song? I don't actually know. I don't think I know any Lady Antebellum songs. They have one card in hand. I like it. Let's get rid of Golos. Oh yeah, for sure. Let's six them. All right, so we got Lethal on board. I mean, now they're like, do I bounce the angel? Do I bounce the the phoenix? If we get a land, we can either play Elspeth or Colonnade, which is both great. Oh, I see. You're voting for Angel of Sanctions. Okay. Could have actually exiled the Phoenix, which would have been funny. Funny? Maybe not funny. Would have been fascinating. Okay. Hey, that's fine. Land. Oh, really? A land and we just win the game? Dang, that's brutal. anyone have I really want to cast my mocks here but no one's gonna let me I guess God, one land here unfortunately we shell docked infinite lands so Oh, what up, Kerwit? Happy Wednesday, my dudes. You bounce Rekindling Phoenix 100%, I imagine. I'm actually surprised at how much this game got away from us after not drawing that land. Like, we would've just won. We would've just won the game. Activate Colonnade Attack for 8. It's so sad. Yep. Yep. Yup Arino. Big yups. Yup city.
Yep, I figured they do this because it's exactly lethal for Gideon. So I'm going to block here and keep Gideon alive. Uh, they have one card. They can activate their Needle Spires. Huh. So we can bounce the chicken. They block with Needle Spires. Hmm. Oh my god, another card that just wins us the game. Sure. Attack your face, because we have to. Attack in your face, because we have to. I mean, my kingdom for a sword to plowshare is here. Did you miss some housing news? No, not even, not even a little. All right, so now they just kill Gideon. Ideally, they tap out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a nine mana spell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or an eight mana spell. And then we can be like, kapow! No, they're just going to play that guy. Ideally, they tap out for one, two, three, four, five. Four or five mana spell, and we just kill that guy. One, two, yep. It's all good. It's only turn ten. We've only missed four land drops. Five land drops, my bad. Jesus. Council's Judgment, <laughs> Oblivion Ring. All these cards are good. Jeez. I think we actually just play Solemn and try to get the other thing going. No. Are we dead, actually? 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 12? No, I guess not. Alright, alright. Mix everything else. Get this guy. Sure. So, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We go to 2. Yeah, they keep Phoenix back. That sucks. One, two, three, four. If we could draw swords here, no, it's still not enough. Yeah, this Elspeth is problematic. Because they just attack us for four, and then they give something float, and then we just die. One, two, three, four. Can't activate this. Yep. I'm missing anything. I'm pretty sure I am not. I mean, they have four flyers, right? Three flyers, right? So they give this guy. They give this probably plus three, plus three. We let that get through. We block here. We're still dead to two flyers. Yep. Wow. Six land is really obnoxious. 
That would have been nice. Wow, that would have been real good. Um, yeah, unfortunate. Looking at you, I can dream. Oh, really, kitty cat? Um, sounds rough. If we can draw a Grim Monolith, it's good. <sighs> two four drops, two five drops, and a sword with no real threats to use it. I'm going to keep it. Their deck seems slow. That's annoying. <laughs> I mean, we'll still cast it, but... Man, if only this was a third land. Can you imagine? I'll look anyway. Nope, nothing. Okay. Dang it, I misclicked. Interesting. No wear tear, I guess. No wear tear. And wear tear. Miscalculate? Why wouldn't you miscalculate this? What? Do they not have a third land? So they're like, oh, I need a land more than I need you to not have Grim? Wow, that's... I guess they also have Wear Tear. Yep, that's cool. Ah, oh, land. No land. Well, it's all downhill now, guys. Because, heaven forbid, I drew three fucking lands by the fourth turn. <laughs> Good times. Well, yeah, draw your island. Good for you. Well, at 
least if we don't hit a land, we can equip this and do nothing with it. Karn is like a land, except it's an expensive spell instead. For sure. Yeah. Look, they get to draw a card instead of us. That's good times. Sure. Oh, that's nice. They did one to each creature, but pro red. So that's cool. All right. So now we're just looking for a land here. Preferably an island, but I'll take anything because it lets us Elspeth into Simulacrum. Come on. Thank you. It's very nice of you. I appreciate it. I'm just going to... Five cards in hand, though. They choose to shuffle? They chose to shuffle. Solemn lets us go Treachery into either Planeswalker next turn, which I kind of like a lot. All right, well, we're still alive. Oh, I'm still alive here. Oh, God. Oh, boy. We're going to treach that dude. That dude is getting treached on. Really? You're just going to... Okay. Well, you're just hoping they don't have wear or tear, right? <laughs> Am I right? Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see if they've just been saving the good old wear or tear. We did, we did see a council's judgment gone. Hmm, boy. Kitty cat, listen. You have to stop. All right, that's not wear tear mana. Five mana. Fracture. <laughs> oh, man. That's just great. I'm just so... Just... Just fantastic. That's incredible. Can I draw my Fracturing Gust? That would be cool. Oh, a Teferi. Wow, that's super cool. <laughs> if we get rid of this, we get to steal this guy. But we don't get to kill Teferi, and I'd really rather just get rid of the Inferno Titan and kill the Teferi, right? God damn. Wow, dude, what is even happening? Like, we just let this guy survive, right? I don't think we care about... I don't, I'd rather them not draw a card. For sure. Oh, boy. I don't care about Golos. Mm -hmm. 
How much damage can we deal with Elspeth? 6, 79, 10, 11, 12? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I mean, that forces them to have to deal with this next turn, right? here and name <sighs> Golos we don't care about what are the cards we've seen in this match that we actually give a shit about I don't know, like soaring is like the only thing I think we care about. Sure. Doesn't matter. It probably does matter. <laughs> I mean, they have their own Elspeth, but them having Elspeth doesn't bother us. And our Elspeth is still online, so. I mean, all we got to do is turn this in front of Titan sideways. You can't get Emil Spires with Phyrexian Revoker. As long as we can turn this Titan sideways. <sighs> can they kill our Elspeth and our Inferno Titan? Little man can sense his dinner coming. That's what he can sense. Yeah, it seems like they're taking... They only have two cards. I mean, this guy's just bait. I don't care about the soul ring. I'm just going to block the Golos because I don't want to give them an extra card, so Elspeth can take two. Oh, they said no. Yeah, that's fine. Deal. Seven mana, huh? Ugin for negative six. Wait, oh, they just killed themselves. <laughs> yeah, Ugin doesn't do it. Because, like, if you Ugin for negative six, it gets rid of Treachery, uh, Inferno Titan, and Elspeth, and I get to keep Solemn and Phyrexian Revoker and kill them. And if you kill the Phyrexian Revoker, then Ugin kills you. Wow. All right. Let's finish this bad boy up. Wow, that was great. Man, Fractured Identity, guys. We kept this hand. It's slow, but it's got a lot of heart. Chris, the 1-0, we won our first, our first game, and then our opponent just conceded. 
they conceded the match. They were like, all right, I'm out. Forget it. I don't want to deal with this bull crap. So, you know, the salt flowed through them. All right, we got four, five, six, and seven here, guys. As long as they don't uh, play something stupid. Oh, don't be a thief of sanity. Hypnotic Spectre. I mean, do you hit Elspeth here, or do you just hit my face? Oh, they went face. Come on, land. Karn. That's worse than a land. Well, we can get rid of this Hypnotic Spectre with our Angel of Sanctions, presumably. Oh yeah, we can do it. Actually, we can get rid of Basalt Monolith and just block the Hypnotic Spectre. Let's do that. I'm going to tap it in response. Oh god, they're doing some bullshit. Oh, Factor Fiction? Sure. Um, sure, three lands are a tutor and a signet. So, tutor, signet, sure. I guess I don't have to write it down because it's right there. So I'm assuming that they're going to go upkeep tutor, take two, find a way to get rid of the angel, attack us. And there's the tutor. Now they're going to Heroes Downfall the Angel. Okay, Shriek Maw, you got it. I mean, I kind of hope they hit Island if we hit if we draw land. If I hope we hit Oblivion Ring if we don't. That's my... Sure. Don't be Elspeth. Island? All right, let's see what we got. That's not a land at all. Let's get rid of this idiot. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. They're just gonna make us discard Mox Diamond. Sure. Why wouldn't they uptick Liliana before? Oh, I guess because they can't. Never mind. Sacrifice a creature. Sure. <laughs> that is not uh, an extremely effective Liliana there, unfortunately. Yep, that's pretty good. I mean, they have one card in hand, though, so I'm not... 
Oh, I guess they just make us discard both things, though. I mean, are they going to deal with this Elspeth? I guess not. Sure. <laughs> it's annoying. I have no cards in hand. Untap your grim, your basalt monolith. Oh, you're just gonna. Pff, that's pretty good. Um. Did you go outside? Cause here comes the rat train. Um. Yeah, this is all fine. We'll see what they do, and then we'll vents her some things. So, we can bounce the Baleful Strix. They get to draw another card, but then we get to keep Elspeth at 8 and ultimate her next turn. Presumably. Um, we also can double block the rat. Let's do that. Let's get rid of your Baleful Strix. You get one more card here, but Elspeth gets to live forever. Rats off to you. Yeah, I assume you're discarding something. Yeah, there you go. Don't do it like that, because then you can't recast your Baleful Strix. Sure. I mean, getting the ultimate Elspeth here seems good. We just have blockers forever. Hmm. Emblem. Land. Angel. Get rid of sword or get rid of rat. Rat seems more problematic. Plus, they can't get it back, so. Well, got to ultimate El Elspeth here. That's pretty good. I mean, they can still bounce things. Like, they can still play, like, Repeal or Vencer or whatever. Yep, don't care about that. <sighs> Batter skull, that's good. I mean, we just block it for days, I guess. But like, that's that's a little life gain. Um, the fact that they could potentially get through with this somehow means I want to just play my lands, so. I'm just going to pass here because they can actually equip this with the Batter Skull and then attack for like 7 in the air. That seems good.
Yep, Toxic Deluge is fucking perfect. Well, this could be good. Revoker, Monolith, Gideon, Jura. Gideon, Jura does nothing against a Batter Skull. Phyrexian Revoker does nothing against a Batter Skull. Um... I guess we can just name Batter Skull and then block forever. Like, they're going to gain a ton of life, but... I think we just shuffle. Well, it's not bad. It's not great, but... Man, now I want that Revoker. I mean, it doesn't do anything. They just bounce the batter skull and replay it. What? Oh, that's pretty sweet. I mean, we're going to discard that anyway, so. Man, despite having an Elspeth Emblem, I just don't have the board presence to do anything. Or that time they made us discard Karn in the very early game. Boy, that would have been cool. Elspeth also got discarded until like Liliana. Here's going to be a land. Control magic! And we steal this. It's not terrible. Well, they're just going to move the sword over to their batter skull again, so, like, it doesn't buy us that much time, but... It is, it is six damage, so... Yep. Give me my sword back. Yep, that's sad. <laughs> sure. God, Batter Skull's like the least, the least. Oh, that's fascinating. Oh boy, <laughs> this is interesting. Return up to one artifact, creature, or enchantment. I'll just bounce your stupid germ. Or bounce your batter skull. Germ survives because it still has a 2 2, so I get to draw. Sea Chrome Coast. Wow, we're like, this is grindy AF, dudes. Ashiok. (sighs) 
Yeah, this is rough. What'd they get? They got Resto and they got Solemn Simulacrum. Oh, God. God, can you imagine how good Colony would be with this sword? Oh, why didn't we just play this? I'm an idiot. Never mind. This game's over. They're going to exile these three. We're going to draw an island. Yep. All right. Jeez. That was absolutely ridiculous. Is Angel of Serenity even good? Yeah, so we saw Ashiok. Oh, we're keeping this. Turn one Stoneforge? For sure. Come on, land, land. <laughs> That's all we want. Oh, that's that's quite good. Oh, let's, uh, come on, land one time. I like it. <clears throat> Grim Monolith, what can we do next turn? One, two, one, two, three. If we can actually draw one more land, we can go Grim Monolith into Sword Equip. Oh, one time, one time. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Oh, the biscuits. The butteriest of biscuits. Grim Monolith. Add three. And then we're gonna go white, and we're gonna go white. Are we gonna are we sorting and equipping? I think we're sorting and equipping. If they go Liliana though, it's pretty bad. Sure. <laughs> you got it. Sure, sure, my dudes. One, two, three, four, five. I'm tempted to just keep the Sheldock Island in hand to get rid of it. Because I think it's worse than the other two cards in my hand.
but maybe it's not. It's a free spell at some point. Karn. <laughs> okay, we did it. Yep, that's pretty good. Five mana, Shriek Maw, kill my 1-1, one, one, sure. Um, I guess we're getting rid of Teferi. Council's Judgment just seems better. At killing, you know, anything. <sighs> this just draws us a card. What's our plan next turn? We're going to make a guy with Elspeth. One, two, three. We could bounce their signet, which feels good. We have four cards in hand. I'm gonna go to the judgment. I think Tefri, like getting us through a card and also being able to get rid of the signet is good. That's not bad. I don't think we're equipping here because we have no reason to now. Like if they plus if they plus Lily, we just get to resto. This is a signet. I think I think the being behind on mana here is, has been very beneficial for us. Sure. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to be where we turn the corner. Oh, and they leave Teferi alive? That's fantastic. That's some real galaxy brain shit there. Yeah, shoot this idiot. Oh, Power Stone. Or do we just take their ability to play right away? I like Rakdos Signet better here. So this is a six. If they want a toxic deluge, they gotta do it for six. We've used both of these guys. Sure, we'll pass. We also get to just play Karn next turn off of Sheldock Isle, so this game's probably over. Oh boy. So they can't use Rakdos thing, so they have, two, they have two black. And that's the end. Alright. They have a lot of artifacts, and I wish I had more things to deal with artifacts. Thalia seems great, but the problem is that like our deck isn't is like we have six creatures, so 
We are currently 2-0. I'm just going to submit like this. Interesting. Monolith. Fuck. Every time, dude. <laughs> Every time we always have the stupid sword in hand and we draw the stone forge. That's basically a mulligan. Oh, but we did draw the Grim Monolith. That's pretty cool. We do need a land here because we have double, double, double. So unless we want to go like, or double, double, double rather, these three. Angrath, cool. Ah, oh boy, always a pleasure. That's annoying. Shuffle it up a little bit. Oh, that's pretty good. Just gonna pass here. I guess we'll put a sword into play and then try to equip it to something next turn. Sure. Um, Have you ever gone outside and gone on the rat train? I haven't actually. I don't actually know how to split these. I think this is whatever. They probably take Shriek Maw two, two lands. Yeah, they do. I just go land Shriek Maw. I'm not gonna give them just Shriek Maw because then they take four lands and a and a they take three lands and a Baleful Strix, which is actually just terrible. Hmm. So I assume they played a swamp. So these two are gone. You got it. You have got it, my dude. Basalt monolith, okay. Are you gonna let us connect with this sword? Cause that seems something. What is this? What is happening? You played a Basalt Monolith just to tap it? You got two mana left? I don't even know what's going on. Why would you play the Basalt Monolith just to tap it? Okay, so wow, this is, this is okay. Land? Solemn Simulacrum is kind of like a land. Oh, 
I wanted to land so I could treachery this guy, untap all my things. That's the world I want to live in. I guess we're just playing this guy. Which is not terrible. Six cards to four cards. One, two, three, four, five, six to five. We have a planes. We have one, two, three, four cards on board that are relevant. They have one. So uh, this is out of commission for now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. They have seven, 13. So 13, 13. Katie, my love, welcome back. Welcome back. This is game three, match three. So after this, we are done. Oh, they're going to go Vampiric Tutor. How convenient. It's true. Fear does not equal menace. That is true. That is true. Mm. Oh. Man, they're really thinking about it. I only fear the devil, my mom, and the rat train. Well, the rat train is terrifying. You know. One, two, three, four. They have five mana to work with here. They have four mana to work with here. They have three mana to work with here. Are they just going to get rid of Elspeth? That's interesting. So like, you know what? I want to get rid of this Elspeth. I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. I feel like we're winning this game, and I'm I'm not sure if that's true. I'm going to get a Tundra. Heavy breathing. I'm tempted to get rid of the Orzhov saying it, but I don't think I care. They have three cards. We have more cards and our board is insane, so. Let's not equip this guy with the Sword of Fire and Ice, because then the treachery falls off. I don't care about that at all. Oh, we just get to go Revoker, name Batterskull, and then Council's Judgment the Batterskull. <clears throat> oh, fascinating. So, island, island, random card, random card. Yeah, none of these cards matter. Because none of these matter. Wow, we can just actually exile the Batterskull and get our own Batterskull? Hmm. Are they dead? I think they're dead. I don't want to get dazed. I'm just going to play this the safe way. What I feel, what I know, what I shine, and what I feel. And that should be the end. Go and face, go and face, go and face. Unless they have, like, lightning bolt. 
I don't think they got a lightning bolt. Wow, did we 3 0 at this blue white deck? Woo! Two 3 0s feels good. Thank you guys for watching. Let's open this treasure chest and then I'm going to get out of here. And I'm going to go eat some food and watch some shows. What do we got here? Elite Inquisitor, Nightmare Lash, and five points. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankpoor, patreon.com slash frankpoor, mandatraders.com. Link promo code in the description. Use those things. You get 20% off the first three months of any sub. It's a great way to support the channel. And you can check me out at coolstuffinc.com every Wednesday. I had a new article go up today. Check out the new article that went up today. It is like Blue White is the best or something. I'm a Blue White fan. You're a Blue White fan. We're having a good time. Thank you guys for hanging out. I will see you next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Don't forget. Don't forget to slam them. You can press them gently if you'd like. That's also fine. Just hit them. I'll see you later.